So basically, if you have um, a shape of any kind, um, and it, it, it's true of all shapes, but if we start off with, with regular shapes, so we've got an equilateral triangle, or we've got a square, or maybe I can pick another one. Let's pick um, a hexagon as well. Now, um, what's always the case with every shape is that the sum of the external angles add up to 360 degrees. Now, if we take one that we know what it's going to be anyway, we know, in fact, let's do it. No, let's do it with, um, oops, let's do it with uh, the triangle. We know that because it's an equilateral triangle, then um, it's, we know the sum, uh, sorry, the, the interior angle should be 60 degrees. So the exterior angle we know is going to be, um, well, I tell you what, let's just say we don't know for the moment. Let's just call it E. Uh, now we have an exterior of three exterior angles and we know that the sum of these exterior angles will add up to 360 because what, as I said a moment ago, so three E, three times E, because there was three of them, should equal to 360 degrees. So E should equal to 360 divided by two, which is 120 degrees. And you can see the interior angle, it's going to, because that's a straight line there, I, it's going to be 180 minus, uh, minus 100, so 180 minus um, 60 degrees. Sorry, 180 minus 120 degrees, which is 60 degrees. So we can work out the any of the exterior angles by just doing uh, 360 divided by the number of sides uh, and so the number of corners as well. So this hexagon, we do this, we can do the same sort of thing. Um, that's the exterior angle. It's got six of them. So that sum of the exterior angle to be 6e, and we know it should add up to 360 degrees. So one exterior angle, 360 divided by uh, six will be 60 degrees. So the interior angle of a hexagon should be 180 minus 60, which would be 120 degrees. So we're gonna use the same sort of idea to work out the interior angle of a 12-sided um, a regular 12-sided polygon. Now there's probably, um, we could probably derive a shortcut here. So if we know that the interior angle, and there is a for, an official formula, I hopefully I'm just gonna derive it right now. So the interior angle we know is 180 degrees minus the exterior angle, or maybe, maybe more useful actually to write the exterior angle is 180 degrees minus the interior angle. And depending on the number of, if we say the number of sides of the shape is n, in this case it's 12, but in that case it was six, in this case it was three, but basically the sum of the exterior angles will add up to 360 degrees. And um, because the exterior angle is 180 minus the interior angle, then we could say that this, the sum of the sides multiplied by 180 degrees minus the interior angle is equal to 360 degrees. Okay, I'll just, I'll just replace the E by that, that value, that little expression there. And I can rearrange this formula to work out what would I be. So if I say 180, let's expand it out first. 180N minus NI is equal to 360 degrees. Uh, if I add ni to one side and take away 360 from both sides, I've got 180n minus 360 is equal to ni. Then divide, and then let's flip it around and make i the subject on the left-hand side and divide by n. I have i is equal to 180n minus 360 all over n. And then what we can do is, hmm, maybe we can take a factor of 180 out just to make it look a little bit tidier. Um, yeah, and that would make it going to, 
and then I could take divide split it into so that bit's going to be just become one because I've taken a factor of maybe I'd want to do that in two steps to make it a bit easier to follow so take out a factor of so I'll leave it all over n for the moment um, and that's just going to be this top bit's going to be n because I've taken out a factor of 180 um, and that's going to be 2 because 360 divided by 180 is 2 um, and then I will or we could leave it like that to be honest or we could split this like and make it 1 over what we could make it um, 1 hmm, I don't know I'm going to actually um, I'm going to I'm going to take this 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 one here outside the bracket I think actually so if I do that then this disappears and this becomes one oh actually that's too confusing <laughs> let's leave it like that okay that's fine so this so this is this is how to give us this is another way of just working out the interior angle um so I'm not sure if that's the official formula, but we could use that. Or we could just go about it and just work out the exterior angle and work it out from there. So now we've got a formula for the interior angle. Uh, you can go either route um, to work out the to work out what the this angle here would be. So let's pause. I'm just going to pause the video and we'll have a go at doing that. Okay. So by if you put in the um, formula, sorry, put in the number twelve for n here. Then we'll see that it's 180 multiplied by 12 minus 2 um, over 12, which is 10 over 12. Um, so 180 minus over, sorry, multiplied by 10 over 12. Uh, let's just put that into our calculator. So the interior angle is 150, which I've written up there already. Um, and and then we just re remember, well, we realize that this is an isosceles triangle because this is a regular pentagon, which means, uh, sorry, not pentagon, it's going to be whatever you would call that, a 12-sided regular shape. Um, and so the, the, the sides are going to be the same, uh, and so this forms an isosceles triangle, so that angle would be the same as that angle. So we'll end up with, uh, if we... If we call these this angle theta, then this is also theta. Uh, so basically, one hundred and fifty plus two theta would equal to one hundred and eighty because it's a triangle. Um, and then rearranging that, we end up seeing that theta is equal to fifteen degrees. Okay.